we are here to correct um, a bit of an imbalance. If you look at a lot of the news in terms of carbon these days, it's about the Amazon, it's about the rainforest, <coughs> it's about deforestation. But if you think of it, 60% of the world population is living on the coastal area. Uh, and this coastal area, uh, it's, it's a bit of a place that seem a bit forgotten. So people are working on the ocean, on the blue economy. They are talking about the green economy, the environment, the orangutans, the rainforest. And what is happening in the coastal area seems a bit forgotten. And, and I think it's, it's a great time for us to, to bring that to the fore. And in terms of this, blue carbon, uh, mangroves, uh, salt marshes, uh, seagrass, this all kind of system which is in fact both depending on the health of what is happening upstream and what is happening in, in, in the ocean. And that, as I said, was 60% of the world population and, and, and quite a lot of our large infrastructure. Cities like Jakarta, slowly going down below the sea level, Bangkok, but also New York, Miami, my hometown in Nice, just close to the sea, uh, we are all dependent on the, having a proper integrated coastal management, and this will definitely depend on how we manage uh, the remaining ecosystems, uh, ecosystem that are uh, at the source of so, uh, blue carbon. Since uh, 1940, we have lost half of the mangrove of the world, since the 1800, we have lost one quarter of the salt marshes. Uh, and since 1990, we have lost half of the seagrass area. So we have probably lost 50% of the ecosystem that are at the source of this blue carbon. We need to protect what is left of this ecosystem because they are essential, not only for carbon, but they are essential for the fishery system because a lot of the fish reproduced in the mangrove area, the salt marshes are essential in terms of mitigating pollution in terms of ecosystem. The seagrass is very important also for fisheries and for local livelihood and community. Um, all these ecosystems, they are impacted by, by human activity directly, mangrove, deforested for shrimp farming, seagrass uh, deforested for another reason. You have seen the amount of plastic waste, pollution, and at the same time they are impacted indirectly by your activities because of climate change. These ecosystems rely on a very fine-tuned balance between soil, no soil, different types of uh, position relative to the sea level. And what is happening now, and you see in some places, the mangroves encroaching on the salt marshes. Salt marshes disappearing, uh, mangrove also having to adapt to climate change and sea level rise. So it's very important for us to protect what can be protected, but it's also very important for us to understand how these ecosystems work and how we can restore them. Because if we don't do that, I mean, sort of the latest uh, uh, paper that was produced, they are forecasting something like by 2050, the sea level rise will cost the world economy 14 trillion dollars. So um, it's too big for me. I mean, there are too many zeros and uh, difficulty to represent what is 14 trillion dollars, but it's a significant amount of the world GDP. And if we don't do anything about this coastal area, about blue carbon, about the ecosystem, this is going what is going to happen to us. And even closer, I mean, sort of people expect that the whole internet will be totally disturbed or broken down because a lot of the infrastructure that helps with the internet, mainly the cable and the fiber optic, well, they are now theoretically below sea level and quite soon they will be under the sea. So if we don't do something, we may also lose some part of the internet. So just to remind everybody in this room, uh, the coastal ecosystem are fundamental for the survival of the species, uh, for a lot of ecosystem services, for biodiversity, for blue carbon, and I think that's 
uh, we will have a very good two days of discussion and I wish all the success and I hope that both the Indonesian government and other government uh, will consider the recommendation of this conference in terms of policy and in terms of future decision. Thank you very much.